What's up guys, welcome to Man About Cake. I'm your host, Joshua John Russell, and today we're continuing with Mac Presents. I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious Swiss meringue buttercream in three delicious flavors. You guys ready? Yeah! Let's do it! Okay, to start our Swiss meringue buttercream, we have to dissolve the sugar into the egg whites. We're gonna do this over usually a double boiler. I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm just gonna do it on low on a pot. You're getting crazy. What could be the potential consequences? Breakfast. <laughs> a delicious egg white and sugar omelet. Is that on your keto diet? <laughs> sugar, and then I'm gonna actually add the salt too here. Dissolve all those guys together. Slowly. So you going golfing later? Do I look real preppy in this shirt? Well, it's kind of kind of preppy. Oh, sorry. Well, is this even getting hot? Yes, it's okay. Don't touch it. Hot, Joshua, hot. Dude, I think at, at this point in my career, I could probably pull something out of the oven. <laughs> I could stick my hand in caramel that's boiling. You're like, yep, it's ready. <laughs> Thermometer hands. That is 350 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Or like I'm washing my hands and then someone, I'm like, oh, I'll leave the water on. They're like, ah! <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I'm a baker. So I'm moving it around so it doesn't cook, obviously, heating it slowly, and then every once in a while I check it just a little bit. And what you want is to do this between your fingers and not feel any graininess. So otherwise then the graininess will be in your buttercream. That's gross. Let's give it one last test here. No graininess, so we're all good. I'm gonna turn it off. Now we will get our mixer out. All right, now we're gonna add our mixture here to our mixer. We're gonna whip it and turn it up to probably like medium high. We're gonna whip it to full peaks. Shaking the whole table. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna have a moment with my fans while we're waiting on our meringue here to what? Meringify. <laughs> Can't hear you. Just gonna see what you guys are up to, what you're into, the trends you're seeing out there. We can't hear anything. <laughs> All right, I think we are about there. And you can tell because, yes. You get this little curl right here. You mm. shake it, the curl doesn't go away. Done. Stiff peaks, they call that, Joshua. Stiff peaks. Yep. Kind of like my hair sometimes. We are gonna turn this on medium speed, but I decide that. And we're gonna add our butter. Butter is at room temperature, which is very important. Also makes it grosser to pick up. It's so gross. So I'm just gonna add the butter little by little until I start to see it come together. Depending on the climate that you live in, you may need less butter. So don't just dump it all in at once. Brandon. Sorry. Right? Actually, I'm pop it up one more. Ooh. I'm just gonna make it louder for you, Brandon. I had no idea how much butter goes into buttercream. A lot, it's called buttercream. It's not called sugar cream. All right, we're actually coming together. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a scrape. Oh, cottage cheese. Yellow cottage cheese. That's because it's straight from the cow. It will come together. I'm gonna go ahead and add my powdered sugar. That looks like a cottage sneeze. <laughs> Vanilla. Whoa, just settle down. All right, that's looking pretty good. We get in there. I'm gonna turn it on low. Maybe give it a little bit of a torch. Why do you torch it? I like to torch my buttercream to like smooth it out just a bit. Sometimes if this happens and you feel like it's getting all cut, it's cheesy and weird, you could take a little bit of it out and melt it, and then pour it back in. I just love using the torch too. You can get them anywhere. You can get them at the craft store, jewelry making, stuff like that. Arby's. You can't get them at Arby's. Well, you can't get them everywhere then, can you? Shut up. Yes. Buttercream. All right, so this is just vanilla. I'm gonna show you how to turn it into three other flavors. So the first flavor that I'm gonna make is strawberry. I like to do this with freeze-dried strawberries because it's real strawberry flavor, but they come in sort of like these chips, which are delicious, but we have to pulverize them. When you open the package though, you will find these little guys. I love those. Yeah, Brandon those. likes to eat, but they clearly say do not eat. This is silica gel, it will poison you. So don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, now he's eating it. <laughs> so we're gonna put them in our little spice grinder here. I thought that was potpourri. I didn't realize those were strawberries. It could be used for potpourri, maybe. 
We do not condone eating silica gel, by the way. I don't eat silica gel. What? I couldn't hear you. Were you saying something stupid or not? I was no? doing a disclaimer. Okay, good. Bite the air. <laughs> it tastes like strawberries. Oh, look, they're like and smoking. It smells, and I'm probably going to sneeze here in a minute. Fanner! Can I get my fanner, please? <laughs> that, is, that doesn't help, James. You're like 15 feet away from me. Maybe do it like a martini. Excuse me, gotta take a phone call. Yeah. Try that it. That sounds like disaster. Right. Do it. What is that? I'll take a strawberry buttercream tall. <laughs> Make mine a double. Shake it, not stare. That worked. This is what it looks like. It looks like makeup. Huh. Doesn't it kind of like makeup? What makeup product? Blushy stuff? Rosy cheek. Rosy cheek, we call this. Don't get in the rain, honey. You'll smell like strawberries all day. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, before I put it into my buttercream, I have to hydrate it now. So I have melted down buttercream that looks really kind of weird. So we're gonna mix this with the strawberry puree. Pulverized strawberry, excuse me. Yeah, get it right, will you? You could use strawberry puree or strawberry jam. This is just the way I like to do it. It's like the best strawberry flavor, I swear. So we make the strawberry paste. Now we'll add this to our bowl of buttercream. You put the strawberries in the paste. You put the paste in the buttercream. You mix it all up. You get a big cup. And then you eat it all today. <laughs> totally worth it. Uh, the best thing about it is it smells like real strawberries. It smells like strawberry ice cream, actually. And you get all these really pretty flecks. So if you ice a cake with it, it kind of looks like real strawberry and not something you just added strawberry extract to and like pink food coloring. And it is delicious. It's like a <laughs> of strawberry flavor. Now I'm gonna show you how to make two other flavors of buttercream. I'm gonna use some peanut butter powder to make peanut butter buttercream. So we're gonna put the powder into our melted down buttercream to hydrate it. You could use actual peanut butter. It will change the texture of your buttercream a little bit. I like using the powder because then I can control the consistency and it stays the same. That looks like it's gonna taste good. It smells really good. Smells so, good. so now we'll add this to our vanilla buttercream we made earlier. And I'm gonna stir it together with the tiniest spatula ever. <laughs> I thought you had just grown giant. <laughs> now I love using the peanut butter powder. It's real peanut butters. Or peanut butters? It's peanuts. real peanuts. <laughs> yeah. And it's a really pretty color too. So there's peanut butter. Now we're gonna do a matcha green tea. So this is just matcha green tea powder. This makes a really beautiful color. Hey Joshua, you wanna hear some viewer comments and questions? I'd love to. So I uh, actually pulled these all from the video that Brandon and I made, where we just made a top 10 list of your cakes and then we got to talk over it. Okay. So uh, Cam Z wrote, hey Cam. this video is basically James and Brandon being amazingly funny as usual with a sprinkle of James's wheeze and refusal to look at Brandon while enthusiastically announcing the Krokenbush cake. Smiley crying face, smiley crying face, black heart, black heart. So you just picked out comments that were good for you? No, hold on, I can't, that's not it. <laughs> okay, sexy one, 325, hi sexy one. Hi sexy one. Said, oh my God, that snake cake song, amazing! <laughs> Great job, James! You guys always have so much fun, love it! Smiley face with teeth. What snake cake song? Snake cake. Cake. It's a thing of my nightmares. Snake cake. Snake cake. It's a thing that you don't oh, wear. We didn't snake actually cake. sing that snake though on cake. the episode where I made the snake cake. Y'all sang it on the episode where you talked about the yeah, snake cake. Yes. That's right. I put See, a I, beat with it. I skipped through that part. So Fatima Adibi said, Brandon and James need their own podcast just doing commentary. They are so random and funny, crying smiley face. <laughs> I would listen to that podcast. <laughs> Tommy was there doing all the work, but yeah. we didn't get a microphone. He did backup vocals much. on Snake Cake, though. He did do backup vocals. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, it looks like guacamole. I know. I don't know why I'm like, I know. That'd be another fun trick. Guess what? Gig nachos for real! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last one I'm gonna do is espresso. I'm gonna add espresso powder though and cinnamon. Ooh. Ah, oh, smells so good. Perfect. Peanut butter, matcha green tea, espresso, or cinnamon dolce. So now we're gonna make some cake cups. 
So I baked some chocolate cakes in cups for my peanut butter buttercream. I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop for this. See, and we'll garnish it and shove a spoon in it. And then you can put them all out and your guests will be like, yum, 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 and walk away like that and then make that noise. <laughs> I don't know. So for <laughs> the green tea, I actually baked red velvet because they go really well together. And then if you want a seasonal concept, it looks like Christmas. So how do you bake those things? Do you do it in the microwave? No. How do you put a cup in the oven? Um, like this. And it does just as fine? <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna pipe this now. <laughs> I've always wanted to work at Taco Bell. Here we go. Pipe some guac. The espresso one, I'm actually going to ice. Because you don't want too much coffee and it'll stay up all night? No, because I want it to look kind of like foamy and like this on top. Oh, like a latte? I like that, a latte. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Yeah, I got it like immediately. All right, this strawberry I'm gonna pipe and we're gonna make this like a chocolate dipped strawberry idea. I'm not gonna leave it pointy at the top and you'll see why. When we decorate it, it looks so delicious. She's a little gassy. All right, I'm gonna grab my decorations and my spoons and we'll finish all these guys off. So I'm gonna finish my peanut butter cake cup with peanut butter cups and some golden popcorn. Gold. All right, those babies look delicious. We're gonna add our spoons. Mm, okay, for the uh, matcha green tea, I'm gonna add some edible flowers. You can find these in the herb section of your local market. Yes. Even your local 7-Eleven where Brandon and I shop? Yeah, they don't no. have those at my grocery your, store. Your actual market. They've got, they've got those flowers in the plastic things. <laughs> no. Can it, can it be the same flowers I bring home to my wife when I make her mad? Sometimes you just have to look up and make sure those are edible. Beautiful. All right, for the espresso ones, I got chocolate covered espresso beans here. And then we're gonna make these gold. Gold, gold. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Beautiful. All right, for our final ones, I'm gonna take some fresh strawberries dip it in a little ganache and then shove it on top of this. Hopefully we can get a nice, like, delicious drippy effect. Ooh, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go again. Oh. Who's gonna stop me? Doubling down. Who's gonna, look, we must drippy, there it is. Get that drippy. I'm just gonna start with the drippy. Oh, oh, oh. You just sounded like the French chef on The Little Mermaid. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ariel, we are fish or something. <laughs> I've uh, never seen the movie. I think I think you you've never seen The Little Mermaid. No. You're about and you're and still beast. alive. I thought I thought I knew you guys. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Right. My personal buttercream buffet is complete. If you guys want these recipes or any of my most popular recipes, I have a Mac recipe ebook. You can download it in the link below. All right. Who wants buttercream? I, I got tips. tips. Peanut butter. Peanut I'll butter. Call peanut butter. No, call it. No. There's two. All right. I already called one. <laughs> okay. Rock paper scissors. Just Just deal. Is itching my nose real bad. Is there a roach on my face? Yes. Yeah. Got it. I got it. Okay. Say Taco Bell. Taco Bell. How do you say Taco Bell? Taco Bell. Comment below. How do you say Taco Bell? I have a Mac recipe ebook. You can get everything in the in below and yeah and then. I think we got it right.